welcome back to Main Street Living. We are wrapping up Women's History Month, but just because March is over, that doesn't mean we should stop paying attention to remarkable women, both from our past and right here today. Brandy, that's right. And one place you can find inspiration and information about trailblazing women is at the Women's Museum of California in San Diego. Longstanding board member Sue Gonda is here to tell us more about it. We're so excited. Welcome to the show. Good to see you, oh. Sue. Thank you yeah. for having me. So why did you decide to get involved with this museum and be a board member for so long? And how long ago was that? Well, uh, it was quite a while ago. The founder, uh, the co-founder, lead person of the museum was a woman named Mary Maskell. And she founded the museum back in 1983. But it wasn't a museum. It was more like collections in her home. And she would go out and give talks to kids in the community, women's groups. And it became a museum in the mid 90s. And I went to the opening and Mary Maskell was there. And uh, you don't say no to Mary. I was a grad student in American history. I specialized in the history of women. And when Mary heard that, she cornered me on the sidewalk and said, you need to be a member of this board. And I said, <laughs> OK, <laughs> I so I've been, a board, I've been a board member since 96. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to let you go. Yes. So I imagine, Sue, that you are well acquainted with all of the things that are in the museum. Can you talk about what's featured in there? Yes. Um, well, what we, we actually have two locations now. Our archives are with the San Diego History Center in Balboa Park, uh, which we're very uh, happy to be partnering with and we're thrilled with them. We also are at the Jacobs Center in, uh, in Southeast San Diego, and we have a uh, crafting exhibit at the museum at the moment that's going to change soon because uh, this will be our 40th anniversary of the museum. So wow. we always have exhibits and we have many exhibits that we like to take out into the community. They've been in libraries, they've been at City Hall, they have been, they've made the rounds over the decades. And so some of these exhibits, they sound very unique. So let's talk about some of the unique things that people can find at the Women's Museum of California. And, and how is the museum different from say other historical museums? Well, you know, there are only, I, I'm going to say this, and I'm pretty sure I'm still accurate, two <laughs> other brick and mortar museums devoted to women's history in mm. general. Now, there's cowgirl museums, and there's, you know, houses that belong to Susan B. Anthony and so right. forth. But, um, but in terms of a museum that has exhibits and educational programs, there's, uh, there's only one other one, and that's in upstate New York. And, uh, and the other one in Washington, D.C. isn't going to open for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So we're the only one that does this generalized program devoted to women's history, mostly U.S., but we also partner with uh, international groups in the uh, San Diego County area to do, uh, to do international themes around women in the Middle East, around Muslim women, mm -hmm. uh, you know, other, uh, other programs that... I guess what I want to say is our life's blood is partnering with other organizations. And so that's what makes us really unique is the ability to talk about women in a variety of capacities. Mm -hmm. And we that's and that's where our focus is. Yeah, it definitely sounds like you are not just stuck in the box over there. Right. No. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I think the other thing that makes us unique is our, our archives. We have women's suffrage archives from the turn of the 20th century. There was a local woman in California, Alice Park, and Mary Maskell was able to get a hold of some of her archives. And the, the rest of them are in you know the Huntington Library and other prestigious museums. And we've got a good chunk of them, including correspondence from Susan B. Anthony. And, uh, and she would collect everything. We had signs from suffrage meetings. We have, um, you know, lots of memorabilia that makes it really fun. So it's really relevant to women's right to vote and, mm -hmm. uh, and what's going on with, um, with diversity and voting in our own time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. The suffrage yeah. movement is really relevant to today. Mm, beautiful. 
Beautiful. Yeah, and the Women's Museum of California is more than just a space to look at the displays, right? You also host various programs and events. So tell us about some of those and why you think those are also important. Well, they they are ways to highlight, put a light on women in ways that aren't usually shown in the media. The Women's Hall of Fame, which was this month, um, uh, I co-founded with Olivia Puentes Reynolds back in 2001 and two. And when we were creating this, what we wanted to do was to show how women created San Diego. You know, women don't get credit for the fact that they have been community builders all over the world. Our, our communities, going back to the native societies and then the immigrants coming in from England and France and colonizing, they would not have survived without women's mm. work. Women mm. literally mm. built San Diego. And so mm. the inductees to the Hall of Fame show what women have been doing to build San Diego. And when we have Women's Equality Day, which happens in August, and that also highlights the ways in which uh, organizations are still to this day working to give women an equal opportunity in a variety of sectors in society because that mm -hmm. that fight is not over. No, wow. absolutely. And yes, you mentioned the Hall of Fame induction for women's ceremony, which has happened. And Melissa Jones helped organize that event. And now she is here to tell us more about it and the incredible women who were honored. So Melissa, we want to bring you in and welcome you. Thanks for joining us here. Tell us a little bit about, from your perspective, the Women's Hall of Fame and some of your past inductees. Oh, I mean, yeah. The Women's Hall of Fame is such a spectacular program. And like Sue mentioned earlier, our life that is partnerships. So one of the exciting things about the Hall of Fame is that it's not just the museum organizing it, but it's the San Diego County Commission on the Status of Women and Girls and um, SDSU Women's Studies Department and the UC San Diego Women's Center. Um, we all get together to honor these women and really, you know, our past inductees really run the gamut of San Diego women. Some are just, you know, your local neighborhood teachers who um, they're just really inspirational. And um, maybe they went to city hall and just petitioned to get a pothole filled in the street. And they might think that wasn't significant, but they were, um, and they helped change San Diego all the way up to notable women that even um, people across the nation or international would know, like Sally Ride, the first American woman astronaut, is in our Hall of Fame. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, how people are chosen to be a part of the Hall of Fame? Yeah, so um, our nominations are public, so anyone can go to our website and submit a nomination of a woman that they feel has, you know, had a positive impact in San Diego. And the four partner organizations create a committee of representatives from those organizations and they sit down and read all the nominations, which can take a very long time, but I'm always so impressed with the dedication and the enthusiasm it is to read through these nominations that the public have so lovingly um, and dedicated their time to submit and um, basically the committee decides um, who gets inducted each year through a conversation on diversity and impact and, um, you know, what does it mean to empower women in mm. San Diego? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just so much. And I love talking about this. We do have to take a quick break, but stay with us. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to hear more about the amazing women who were inducted into the Hall of Fame. So stay right here. Welcome back to Main Street Living. We are back with Sue Gonda and Melissa Jones from the Women's Museum of California. Oh, this is a great interview, ladies. Thanks again for staying with us here in Main Street Living. And Melissa, I want to go back to you. Let's talk about your most recent 2023 Women's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Tell us about that evening and just a couple little things about the women who were honored this year. 
Yeah, it was a great ceremony. I was our first actual in-person ceremony since 2019. The past few years we've done virtual. So it was so fantastic to see the community show up and celebrate these women. This year we had eight inductees, um, ranging from uh, Norma Chavez Peterson from the ACLU, Mayor Mary Salas, um, who was the first Latina mayor um, in San Diego County, uh, Juana Machado, who was a midwife in the 1800s, uh, Huma Ahmed Ghosh, who was professor of women's studies at SDSU, Amy Forsyth, who was a military uh, journalist, Patricia McCader, who's a corporate lawyer, um, Holly Smithson, who's the CEO of Athena, which is a group that elevates women in STEM. And for the first time ever, we inducted a women's organization. So we're really proud to induct Planned Parenthood of the Pacific Southwest mm. for the work they do. Um, in helping women access affordable health care. Wow, that's wonderful. I know you said it was in person, but are there ways that viewers can experience the museum or learn about the Hall of Fame inductees if they're not in San Diego? Yes, um, if you go to our website, we have digital exhibits and um, downloadable activities, ways for educators to incorporate women's history in the classroom, and specifically for the Hall of Fame, we create um, videos every year, interviews with the inductees, which you can access online as well as um, bios of the women. So it's just a wealth of information and education to um, educate everyone about these incredible women. And you've got a lot more planned, Melissa. Tell us what's next for the museum. Yes, as Sue mentioned earlier, it's our 40th anniversary. So we are going to you know, go out and celebrate that um, milestone with the community. We're going to have a 40th anniversary exhibit, which really is going to highlight not just the past 40 years of the museum, but how the museum has been an active participant in the women's movement to create a more equal society for us all, um, as well as our partnership with the San Diego International Film Festival, where we do a women's film series. So we pick movies to screen that not only are showcase women in front of the camera, but also have women behind the camera um, directing, writing, and producing. And um, we have just our normal regular programs, walking tours, um, field trips for students, workshops. It's just, there's so much stuff always happening at our museum. Well, that sounds so exciting and wonderful. So Sue, um, before we go, how can viewers get more information about the Women's Museum of California? Well, that's pretty easy. You can go to our website at womensmuseumca.org and, uh, and it's very easily navigatable to be able to find out about the history of women in San Diego, as well as our programs and any events that are coming up that you'll sure to want to be a part of. And I really encourage everyone to become a member of the museum. Uh, that's very easy to do. That's on the website. For $60, you can have all kinds of benefits of coming to events, getting the first information. There's information that you get that no one else does because you get it in a hardcover, old-fashioned snail mail newsletter and uh, and discounts. And there's also swag to buy online. So be sure to do that too. Yes. Always like that swag. Ladies, thank you so much for sharing this with us. We're, we're so proud of everything you're doing and thanks for honoring those incredible women. Totally inspiring. Well, thank you. Thank Up you. next, you will... Up next, we're going to continue celebrating remarkable women. So stay with us.